Okay, so we're just going to do some lovely restorative practice just to, to kind of ground our energy and to give ourselves some relaxation. So if you can put a blanket underneath your underneath you, then that's good. Just something that's really comfortable. If you've got something to cover your eyes with as well, like an eye pillow or something similar, perfect as well. Let's have a bolster underneath your knees, blocks for underneath your feet, and the blanket for underneath your head. So don't be in an immediate rush to find your um, ultimate comfortable position that you're going to stay in for the duration of the pose. But just feel how your body feels right now. Just observe how the body is feeling. So cover your eyes if you can, just to give you some darkness and cover your body for warmth if it's a little chilly as the season is turning. So the weather does seem to be moving a little more autumnal. So spend a moment or two just assessing how your body makes contact with the ground. So chances are you're not directly in contact in contact with the earth right now, but the floor that you are in contact with is in contact with the earth. So just allow yourself permission to observe the physical body. Allow yourself to observe the feeling of your body against the floor. Just make sure that whatever is covering your eyes feels evenly placed. Listen to the sound of your breath as it enters and as it exits. Observe how the body connects to the ground and to the bolsters and the blocks and the blanket. Take deep inhalations, fill in the lungs from the bottom to the top. Deep exhalations, empty in the lungs from the top to the bottom.
observe the sensation of the skin of the sole of the foot drawing your attention towards the soles of the feet Drawing your attention to the soles of your feet so that the soles of your feet tingle with consciousness. Draw your attention to the soles of the feet and consciously relax the soles of the feet, letting the muscles and the skin and the bone consciously let go. Draw your attention to the tops of your feet, bring in consciousness to the skin and the muscle and the bone. Draw your attention to the top of the foot and then allow the top of your feet to completely relax. Drawing your consciousness into your shins. Draw your attention into the tops of your feet, relaxing the tops of the feet, relaxing the skin and the bone and the muscle, and then drawing your consciousness into the shins. Draw your attention into your shins and allow the shins to completely relax into the bed of the calf muscle. Draw your attention into your kneecaps and your thighs and allow the kneecaps to sink into the backs of the thighs, consciously allowing the thighs to sink into the floor. And then relax 
relax your thighs, softening the muscle around the bones, allowing the legs to completely relax into the floor. Draw your attention into your abdomen and allow the abdomen to completely relax. Just acknowledging the sounds around you. Soften the abdomen and the intercostal muscles between the ribs. the abdomen and the ribs to sink into the ground, releasing around the shoulders and around the arms, Consciously relax your shoulders and your forearms. Your shoulders to relax, softening the neck and releasing tension from the neck. Soften your shoulders into the floor. Soften the, for the upper arms and the forearms. And release your palms. Sinking into the ground. Relax the neck by softening the muscles around your neck and soften the muscles around the face, feeling how the body connects into the ground 
and how we can release our tension with prolonged stay in this basic relaxation pose. Just allow the skin around the face to completely relax, softening the muscles and the skin around the forehead as though you're smoothing clay down towards the cheekbones, down towards the chin. Just focusing on nothing other than this perfect moment of relaxation. Okay, when you're ready to disturb yourself, just gently wriggle your toes, wriggle your fingers, and then bend your knees, bring your feet onto the bolster, have the feet apart and the knees together. Just rest into the floor for a moment. And then just guide yourself over onto your right side. Just stay down for a breath or two.
and then straighten out your top leg come back up into cross legs for a moment just hold on to your knees and just sit in cross legs with your eyes closed for a moment or two and just acknowledge the energy that you have released so far Okay, so we're going to do a supported child's pose. So this is a really nice way of just really grounding your energy. So sit back on your heels. If you've got two bolsters, then that's really good. If you haven't, then you can just build up your lift a little. So if you've got two bolsters, have one on top of the other. If you don't, then you can put, you can get some blocks like this and then you can just raise up the height of your bolster this way just kind of bringing it up um, that way so just get whatever is going to give you some good height and then you could even raise that up a little more with just a folded blanket over the top of that so you've got a really good um, it gives you a good kind of opening action in the abdomen and then you're just going to rest yourself forwards and then let your head just rest down on one side so just see how that feels and with all of these restorative poses remember that they're all just a starting point and you can just find your comfort within them so just have yourself onto your lift and then rest your head on one side ideally your arms should be hanging down to the floor if you're putting weight on your elbows bring your elbows a little wider apart so we're just going to stay in this supported child's pose for a little while as we stay just move your head from one side to the other just every now and then just to stretch out your neck evenly so you're effectively sitting back on your heels a little and the bolsters just support the body just observe how the physical body feels comforted by the lift underneath the chest so don't forget to just swap the position of your head every now and then just to give yourself even stretch of your neck as you know as we progress into the sequence i'll speak less and less so that you can just focus on just relaxation, just allowing yourself to release into the pose. You will be able to do that more effectively with silence. Don't forget to just swap the position of your head every now and then just to stretch out your neck.
just feel this tension melting away from the shoulders, from the shoulder blade region, away from the neck. Okay, in a moment, we're going to bring ourselves out of this pose. Just push your hands underneath your shoulders into the floor and then bring yourself up into a seated position, just sitting back on your heels for a moment. And then just move got two bolsters there just move one of them out of the way and then we're going to do a gentle spinal twist so you're just going to sit with your knees bent with your hip close to the edge of the bolster and then you're going to lift your chest and then guide your chest along the bolster and then rest your head in the same direction as your knees now you might want a little more height, so again you can add a layer of an extra layer of blanket underneath on top of your bolster just to give you a little more height. Remember if these poses are uncomfortable, then you just adjust until it is comfortable. So again, rest in your head in the same direction as you're bending your knees. So you can adjust, adjust the intensity of the pose by just moving your knees a little closer to the body or move them away from the body a little. Have your elbows wide enough apart so that you're not supporting your weight with your arms. You're just draping over the bolster. So this gives you a little gentle stretch in the lower back area. Okay, bring your hands underneath your shoulders, push yourself up 
into cross leg position. Just sit yourself in cross legs, just observe how your energy changes with each pose. And then we'll do the other side. So just keep the bolster, all the equipment where it is. Just sit yourself on your other side of the hip. So have the hip close to the bolster, knees pointing in the opposite direction, and then turn the abdomen along the bolster, and then rest your head on the other side. Switch your head so that your chin is always pointing in the same direction as your knees. And then gently release into the floor. Just focus on your breathing. allow yourself to completely release into the equipment.
surrendering into the bolster. Surrendering into the pose. Okay, push your hands into the floor, push yourself up into a seated position, just cross legs with your hands in, in the masti again, just observing your energy, observing how maybe there is more grounded energy, maybe your energy levels are a little higher, just observe what is happening. You. We're going to go into our restorative surfboard pose. So have a block at the end of your bolster for your head and have a blanket over the top of there just for comfort. If you've got a little mini bolster like this one, which is really just a folded um, towel in a um, in a cushion cover, in a pillow cover then have that from underneath your shins just gives you a little more comfort and then you can just come forwards and the your head needs to be free of the end of the bolster so you rest your your chin needs to be free of the end of the bolster just rest your forehead on the bolster and then allow your arms just to rest down onto the floor So you've got the mini bolster underneath your shins and you're laying forwards onto your to your front with your chin free of the end of the bolster. And then just allow yourself to just sink into the floor. With our restorative surfboard pose, it's always welcome to do a little bit of focused breathing. And back breathing is good in this position. So just take deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. And with an out breath, with an in breath, sorry, breathe into the back chest around the shoulder blades and out into the armpit chest and then release with an out, a normal out breath then in the second in breath breathe into the middle of the back and out into the side ribs and then a normal out breath and then the third breath is down into the bottom of the back and out into the hips and then a normal out breath so just circulate around those three breaths, one at the top, one at the middle, one at the bottom, and then just keep circulating around those breaths. Just normal out breaths and focused in breaths. So whenever you're ready.
pressing the area between the eyebrows into the block just to help quieten the frontal lobes of the brain. circulating around those breaths Okay, bring your hands underneath your shoulders, push yourself up into just a simple seated position, just sitting back on your heels, just observe your energy, observe how your energy has changed. And then for the last couple of minutes, we'll just go back into our basic relaxation pose, the, the pose that we began in. So have the bolster for underneath your knees. You don't need any blocks for underneath your feet this time unless you want them. Just have a blanket for your head. And then just guide yourself down onto the floor. Bring yourself up if you are going to be cold. So comfort is paramount, as is warmth and darkness. If you can, if you can get there. So cover your eyes, or use a eye pillow. Just make sure that you feel comfortable and allow yourself to release into the ground just observing how your body connects to the floor
just to feel the body releasing into the ground. Feel one way heavy on the ground and at the same time observe that feeling of energetic lightness that radiates out from the bones. Okay, when you're ready to disturb yourself, just wriggle your toes, wriggle your fingers, just bring yourself back into this pose of Shavasana. And then bend your knees, bring your feet onto the bolster, have your feet on the bolster, your feet apart, your knees together, just resting your back into the floor. And then very gently roll over onto your right side. Just stay down for a breath or two. So on your right side, your heart is on the top of the body so that your heart is relaxed. And then straighten out the top leg. Come back up into just across legs. With your hands in the masti, just a final spinal lift. Drawing your breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Just draw your breath in through your nose, down into the abdomen. Be conscious of the energy that you have released through your practice. This evening, that good, positive, healthy flow of clean, grounded energy that the relaxation poses bring to the body and to the mind. And then draw your chin down to meet your chest. Spend a moment to acknowledge the positive energy you have created inside around the heart area. And then send some of that positive energy out into the world. And then gently release the backs of your hands down towards your knees, palms facing upwards, just connecting the tip of the index finger with the tip of the thumb. And then as you raise your head, allow your eyes to softly open and the focus to softly come back. Thank you very much. So hopefully you feel as though you've really lifted your energy but in a really grounded way that connects you to the, um, to the earth. So thank you very much for joining me.